Good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, God has been reminding me uh, in the last day or two about why we do this, why we do these little videos, why we're doing what we're doing. Uh, here's a snippet of a passage from uh, 1 Peter chapter 1 uh, that I got to read in community on Wednesday night with Cody and the rest of that crew. Um, <clears throat> And just a snippet of it, he's writing to a group of people, followers of Jesus, that he names as brothers and sisters, Adelphoi, most common name for us. So to this extended spiritual family of Jesus followers, uh, he writes, uh, make every effort. This is chapter one, verse five. Make every effort to add to your faith, all of you, right? Together, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, mutual affection, <laughs> and to mutual affection, love, self-sacrificing, self-giving love. He says, because if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in what? In, in knowing our King Jesus, no, in the knowledge of our Lord King Jesus. And, and whoever doesn't have those, when we don't have those, we're nearsighted and blind, forgetting that we have been cleansed by our past sins. It's the make every effort together. <laughs> uh, as a band of people, pursue ultimately what? Knowing our King Jesus. This is uh, this is our primary pursuit. Like we have, uh, if we have a list of a to do list for today, the one thing on our to do list is uh, let's make every effort to pursue knowing Jesus, and everything else is bonus. Right? Uh, this is what we're doing here. There are, there are patterns. There are patterns to spiritual renewal. Uh, taking place in the lives of people and ultimately in, in larger and larger groups of people. And, and they begin with repentance, with people who arrange uh, the, the, their lives around their King Jesus, uh, repentance and renewal. And so an example of one would be in 1904, there was a movement that swept through Wales um, and nearly 100,000 people enter into life with Jesus after a small group, a remnant of young people. They challenge themselves to, to put away unconfessed sin, to put away any doubtful habit, to obey the Spirit promptly, and to confess to Christ publicly. Right? Mark Sayers said it this way. He said, when we cry out to God, when we repent of the ways we have ignored Him and pursue our human-driven plans of renewal in our own strength, when we take a posture of contending for his kingdom to come with power, we see that he moves. So here we are, that we may be that remnant. Uh, we may be that small band of folks that are taking Jesus seriously, repenting, rearranging our lives around him, reordering our lives around him, and seeking spiritual renewal that he may move in ways uh, bigger than we could ever have dreamed. So Father, help us be a people who together as brothers and sisters make every effort. <laughs> that we make every effort uh, to trust you. And not just trust you, but, but to seek goodness and to be about all things that are good. And then, and then knowledge and understanding and then self-control to our lives. And and endurance, perseverance, and godliness, and mutual affection, and love, uh, all to one end, and that is to be effective and productive in knowing our King Jesus. Amen. Grace and peace, my friend.